once again the other day I was going through my feed on YouTube and I came across a video done by B Dobbins. I'm sure a lot of you guys know Batman. He does these uh, these in-depth videos talking about games and developers and you know the fails that they're having and you know the future successes of games. Will it work? You know that kind of thing. He focuses on the FPS genre as usual, and it just got me thinking. You know, oh I'm sorry, guys. If y'all know who I am, I'm Gray Disciple. It's nice to meet you. Uh, in the background, we're doing some search and destroy on the map Aquarium. It's a great game. I've been playing some more hardcore search here and there. Haven't gone into the core mode. I it's a little frustrating the way people play in there, but hardcore I tend to have a, a little bit more fun right now. But anyways, back on that subject. Anyways, he, he speaks on an article that was written. I think it was on a company called Tripwire. Maybe you guys have heard of it. But uh, and I'll, I'll try to find the article that he used where a guy talked about how Call of Duty has ruined FPS shooters because all gamers compare FPS games to Call of Duty. You know, if you if you create a new title and you do a, a market research on it and you have gamers come in and try it out, the most common statement you hear is, it doesn't feel like Call of Duty. And the problem is, is when a developer tries to match Call of Duty with score streaks and the guns and the maps and rotation, it's not Call of Duty, so why buy it? They don't buy into it. But each and every year, still, we have commentaries done on the death of Call of Duty, Call of Duty's over, Rip Cod, and oh, Battlefield's gonna win it out, or here comes Overwatch, or here comes Doom, and uh, Titanfall Part 2, and oh look, Mountain Dew's going to be a sponsor for Titanfall, and, and all this stuff's going on, or the dislike bomb on IW's new offering, and you know, oh, Battlefield 1's going back to World War times. Who cares? I mean, seriously, in the long run, who cares? Because I think a lot of people miss the point. For me, anyways, when I look at it, you know, what is it about Call of Duty that just works? People talk that, you know, the skill gap has been shrunk so much to where anybody can log in and have a good time and do well. I kind of agree with that statement, but not to the extent that most other people do. See, I don't come across that much BS in this game. I dominate. 90% of the time in the lobby I go into, I will dominate the lobby because I do have higher skill in Call of Duty. Now, I, granted, there are certain things in the game that give easy kills to people, but for the most part, there is a lot of skill in this game still, in my opinion. So what is it? Why, why can't a game overcome Call of Duty like Halo? Why can't it come back? Or why can't Battlefield completely trump Call of Duty or Overwatch? What is it about Call of Duty that works? Who cares about lag? People talk about lag. There's lag in every game. And then the graphics, who cares? What, what it is about Call of Duty to me, when, when I think about it, is my ability to log in, play a couple of games, get my quote unquote fix and move on. It's exciting. It's not boring. Now, Search and Destroy can get boring. Team Deathmatch at time can be boring. But for the most part, it's aggressive, action-packed, in your face. The matches move very, very quickly. And you go on to your next one. And you feel like you're accomplishing something along the way. You know, you're unlocking things for your weapons and perks and score streaks and, and gear and camos and all those kind of things. I mean, you feel like you're working towards something. But the games are very, very fast. And you're playing against other people who are moving just as fast as you are. And when you do well, it makes you feel good. And somehow Call of Duty has been able to, to tap into that and no other developer can. And I don't know why they can't. And here's the other thing. It's an arcade shooter, but there's still a bit of realism behind it. But it is arcade. I mean, obviously, you're respawning into the, into the game when you die. But there's something about that. You get a rush after the game and then a lull. It's a lot like a sport. You know, I, I remember playing Battlefield and I would get into these matches and they would carry on for 20, 30, 40 minutes. Whereas a Call of Duty game, what's the average time? Five to six minutes in a COD game? So it's like a rush of excitement every single time and it's fun. You can troll or you can go try hard. You can play with the sniper or an LMG or a shotgun or SMG. There's all these different metas to the game. You can go hardcore or core. And then you can go objective or just team kill and all this kind of stuff. I mean, it just works. Call of Duty will never die because it's not necessarily about the game. It's about the emotion and the 
I don't know, the excitement or the adrenaline rush when you play the game. Okay, and, and it's hard for developers to match that level of adrenaline that Call of Duty has been able to tap into for so many years. Who cares about the Quake engine that they run on or the lag compensation within the game? Who cares? Because it's still the same game that we've been playing since Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1. I mean, it's, it's that same feeling, that same rush of excitement. You jump on, you play for 30 minutes, and then you go back on your, on your way. You can't do that with other games. You don't get that same feeling. It doesn't have that same audience. There's not that many people playing those other games. Call of Duty just works. It's not going to die. And I still believe right now that Infinite Warfare will outsell most of the previous titles to Call of Duty. My opinion. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about what I said. And subscribe for more because I know you want to.